Newtonian or non-Newtonian? Wait a minute, is that a question? <laughs> well, in science it is. And so this little talk is going to be about how viscosity, pressure, and liquids are strangely connected. Basically we've got DNA, so the genetic material of the cell is going to be found inside the nucleus. And that's going to determine you know, what kind of a cell it's going to become, but it also is going to control the cell. In other words, we're going to make proteins, we're going to make enzymes at a certain time. Talk about it when it's done. i got my trusty little torch here, and we're just going to light a piece of magnesium, and it's going to react with the oxygen in the air. The deal is, whenever you have a changing field within a coil, that causes current to flow. Let's write that out. Now let's say you've got a magnetic field. About the layers of the Earth and the composition of the interior of the Earth and how the temperature and pressure increase as you go from the rocky outer skin, the crust of the Earth, into the inner core. Um, and then the changes that happen on the surface of the Earth as a result of those lithospheric plates moving and shifting about above the asthenosphere. And that's the same pattern that we see inside of the sun. We also see it in uh, thunderstorms that go up and down because you have a heat source at the bottom, this, uh, this hot plate. And as the uh, little beans go up and down, they follow a pattern, a circular pattern, if you watch them. Is actually this part, okay, these, this gray area. This is an inner membrane, and it goes all the way through, and, and it compartmentalizes the mitochondria. The inside part of this membrane, okay, all this light area, let me do this in blue, this is called the matrix. How do we go from do to re? Mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. How do we get all those other notes, okay? And the way you do that, using the just diatonic scale, is you're going to multiply by these magic numbers. So imagine a ball the size of a football stadium, and right smack dab in the center of the atom, you would find the nucleus. And you could see it. And it would be the size of a small marble. 